Hello there everyone and welcome back to Imperial Destroyer. We're back here with our Dutch campaign. Last time around we won a battle against the French, but it don't seem to have done much because uh, they have yet a bigger army. This one I'll definitely have quite the difficulty dealing with, but hopefully we'll be able to work around that. What I've gone ahead and done is I definitely need to open up my ports in the home region. So I've sent most of the fleet actually back to Europe. And we only have kind of a skeleton force here. Or we have the Admiral and a Brig to remain in North America. At the same time, I disbanded three sloops because I decided, you know what, they're not very good. They're not very useful in battle and their upkeep was almost 300 gold per ship. So, with that, it actually moved me into the plus. Plus, I was able to sell technology to my allies, specifically Britain. So now we actually have 8,000 gold. And I'm wondering if it wouldn't be prudent to be very bold in this situation in terms of what we need to do to change our situation here and maybe go directly to attack France itself. Now I wouldn't be able to bypass them if I landed through this port but I could here but they'll be able to reach the town beforehand but I'm thinking you know, they have a bit of clamor for deform, reform and some war wariness. I could possibly cause revolts within that, especially since they're building up the college. If I was able to take this, that would be a major boon, because I would basically be taking the entire of, entirety of France. I wouldn't be able to hold it for very long, but as for as long as I was holding it, I would be gaining tons of cash, and it would throw the French Empire in complete disarray. So maybe with these 8,000 and the fact that I'm actually making a little bit of money, we would actually build an army here, either bring it by a ship or just push through the Spanish, push through here and attack. Because right now I'm only seeing playing defensively is we're gonna lose because the uh, the enemy has more money and eventually they're gonna have more troops and everything as we've seen here I can put up defense and win battles but they will only last me so long if I'm not able to actually gain more cash and more land so that it will have to do bold strategies all around I also think the Danish Navy is being built up here so we'll have even more ships to fight since Hanover is my ally, I could march an army through here, but I'll have to have ships to actually get it over to the Danish capital. Danish capital is another area where I could very well attack, just to hold it for a few seconds and get the all the, the, as much money out of it as possible before retreating home. Um, there's a lot of options. The key thing is we'll have to be bold. Also, since last episode was so bloody long, I decided that it's probably best if I skip over some of the stuff that we've already seen, repetitive stuff and stuff that might not be necessary, just to make the um, the episodes more digestible for more people. Um, but maybe you guys like long episodes, I don't know. With all of that said, if we want to go anywhere, we need to start ending turn, so let's go ahead and hit the end turn button. Okay, it seems that the enemy has influenced the region with a spy causing unrest to the point where we now have natives attacking. We have n five native chiefs has risen up in resistance and they're going to take the region. Which means that I'm going to be out a thousand coin. Then also, pirates attacked up here and is now stopping the trade coming out of this province which means we're not really getting any money there the French has bolstered this area with even more troops I mean I hope they fight the rebels 
but it looks very much less and less likely that I'll actually be able to invade there and um, it's looking less likely that anything will work out for me right now my spy is par in Paris though I, I do think the enemy army is still there right but there's not a lot protecting Paris. Unfortunately, I think one of my ministers got some stupid attraint which reduced the movement speed of my fleet by 25%. That might have been in a specific region. Also, there's plenty of French navies ready to block my entrance or attack on the Danish. I have decided to up the troops here by adding a cannon and two units, which obviously also is going to draw overdraw the budget, but the Spanish are increasing their troops in this region, so I'll have to, unless I want to die, but looking at it right now, that might just be, I mean, eventually we might just be left here on Cylon, where, I mean, they're not super happy with my presence. I... Oh, yes! I can exempt... Or no longer... I can tax the region. That should give me a little bit of money and... Just a slight reprieve. Execution has been postponed by a few seconds. Also, I probably should actually go around and see about selling my technologies to every single nation that I can for 500 or less just to be able to drum up enough money to survive for a while. Currently, it's not looking too good here. I mean, the natives are definitely going to take the province. There's not much I can do to stop them. Also, they move really fast, apparently. Um, there's no way I'll be able to combat all of this. Right, so there's, what, four militia regiments, three regiments of Cavalry, and one native, plus the general. It doesn't look good. It does not look good at all. They're probably even recruiting even more troops as we speak. However, we should not give up just yet. Hopefully, I'll be able to turn this around at some point. Ah, Saboteur has destroyed my school. Not very good at all. Path blocked. Okay, I was hoping I gain another technology there so I could actually sell that one as well. Now we're going a thousand miners. It's going to cost me 1400 to repair this. This one I actually kind of need. Swamp fever in Cylon I, is a malaria scur. Unhappiness. Wealth in region. Tons of unhappiness. So I, I was so happy that I could actually tax this last. But now we have to exempt tax because they've got swamp fever. And everything will... So it turned from bad to worse. M yeah, a new nation arise. We lost... We lost this region. Um... We are currently hostile. I suggest peace. No! You don't want peace? Question is, are the French at war with them? I imagine they are not, which would leave the region unaccosted for now. God, there's even more troops now. So now there's five units of militia. And there's four units of cavalry. Support for foreign dissonance. Sure, support them. Uh, religion. Lottery. We will hold it because I need the money. A new nation arise. Great. Um, but that will stop the inflation of being a problem. And... Although it will reduce my cash, there's no way I'll be able to attack here. So we'll have to attack somewhere else. I was hoping to attack here, but now they've increased the troops on this island as well. So that's not going to go through. Especially since buccaneers are quite good at 
they've got good accuracy 40 and then the cavalry is really the problem there um hmm uh pirates island then bahamas is the next big target the pirates moved on from this porch so i should be able to open that up we'll have to abandon this area for now move to bahamas temporarily and then it's really gonna come down to the home region then where we have to I'll have to uh, somehow figure out a way to uh, make a big change here and get loads of cash and of course the Spanish are increasing their army right to my border the bastards and I'm hemorrhaging money it's not going well. It's not going well at all. I don't know what is what it is about everyone that wants a million pound. Now the Mesoamericans wanted a million pound for peace treaty. Like they have no possible cause in which to attack us. So I don't entirely see why they think that I would pay them for peace. Now is the question here for the navy. We've got a 54 gun French frigate. We've got or a uh, ship of the line. We've got another one over here. The French are controlling the channel way too much. I don't know why the British aren't trying to sink any of these ships. We're going to have to go around unfortunately. So we're going to have to go all the way up over Scotland and then way down. So in two turns I will be able to open up my home ports and hopefully we'll be able to stop us hemorrhaging money in time next election is in one turn and it looks like we're gonna change government yet again because the popularity of this one is god awful which is no surprise because it's been shit from the start we have now the opportunity to see all of France because my spy is infiltrated good enough so we can see that there's not a lot of troops here. I think this is my the best course of action to actually launch an army. We There's nothing for it really. We'll have to attack through here and attack France itself. The question is, should I go through by attacking the Spanish and in that way take Paris? Or should I try to move around? Right now this fleet is in the way. Hmm. But it probably would be, we would be helped by the f British Navy if they came that close. So I could land an army like here and then march down. Hmm. We've got options, we've got options, but not a lot of them, but we got them. And with the election results are in, and we have a new government. The old one was thrown out. This one looks okay for the most part, what it seems like. Pretty good stats, not so good for, I think this is navy. Ancillary gained for a number of people, new national leader, so on. Take a look at the ministers. Oh, it was the new governor of India. Interesting how that changes as well. Also, this guy is completely garbage. Um, what's this? Religion. I was worried because I saw a Swedish fleet move and I thought, ah oh, shit, now Sweden is going to land an army in my country. But it seems like they're going to the no to North America, which is interesting. Finally, it looks as though I'll be able to sink the Danish fleet and open up my port, which would hopefully... It's just in time to avoid another bankruptcy, it seems. Let's go straight at it and sink the bastards. They don't have much to put up against us. And that is well, I must say. 
We are just about to come into range of the enemy. First salvo is loosed by their ship. But soon enough, we'll be releasing our side and we released plenty more shots against his ship. So we've got 228, actually 128, 132 and then the big one at 48 moving in. And currently his admiral ship is lying there with almost no sails even raised. And my all my fleet is coming in here and I'm hoping to lay an immense amount of fire down upon the lead ship. And just concentrate my firepower on these lead ships while they're really the only one that could make a great difference for their side is stuck all the way back there. Not noticing though that there's a lot of damage being done on the lead Danish ship. I need to turn here just to get this one to fire on the lead ship rather than the sloop in the back. I'm not too interested in the amount of damage we can do on the sloop. I'm more interested in doing damage to the frigate. I'll have to turn slightly up here. So far we're doing fine. But I'm not seeing that much... I, we haven't killed a single crewman on the, f the lead ship. And we haven't taken out a single cannon either. Which has me a little bit worried that we're not doing that much damage. But on paper, there's no way that I can lose this, given just the size of the fleets involved. And right now, I don't know why he's moving his fleet like this, but he is. And that's okay by me. Because that will give us opportunity to fire at them. Oh, concentrated fire right now towards the sloop. Two crew got killed. No cannons as of yet been taken out. Well, if they want, they can carry on straight into this. Where we're lining up our ships now. The sloop is stuck. And I'm just training tons of shots here on an almost stationary Danish fleet. We'll have this one go around like that. Looking at it, I probably should advance the ships just slightly here. So everyone gets good uh, area to fire at them. Interesting how the Danish kind of went almost into each other and are kind of stuck. They're just sitting here. Which I don't know about what their, what their plan is really. Except shooting their own ship. In this case, mutiny in the Danish Navy, they are uh, firing at each other. I'm wondering, the Danish uh, commander must be uh, quite perplexed by this. That his fleet has decided to fire upon uh, the flagship, their own flagship. Looks pretty good right now. Let's see. We've lost one cannon over here, one crew. Nothing here. Nothing here. Uh, two cannons and some of the crew. Six, nine people. 
not too bad. The lead du uh, Dutch. I am the Dutch. The lead Danish ship has lost quite a few guns. Quite a few crew as well. Similarly with the sloop. And this frigate. Currently I like my position just sitting here throwing shots at them with the Danish aiding by oh that guy just took up a cannonball to the face <laughs> interesting how the Danes decide to shoot on their own ship so the enemy flagship has almost lost 10 cannons at this point I'm also noticing quite a few shots here in the rigging I wonder if Currently, it doesn't actually say that it lost anything in the rigging. This one has lost quite a f bit of rigging. Or co comparatively, what I've done in previous battles, anyways. Oh, what are you doing now? You're going a little bit way out there, but I guess I can order you to set up here. Should pay attention. Guess I should pay more attention to my own fleet. Given that the admiral is taking such a beating right now, and the rest of his fleet is actually moving away, what I could do. So I can order the entire fleet to kind of swing around and come through here. Come really close to him. And um, just loose all the cannons at him. Yeah, we're really just focusing cannon fire on him right now. Shot after shot is going into him. I have noticed though that my admiral has come taken quite a bit of fire as well. He's lost five guns and uh, quite a bit of crew. It's probably no, probably actually time to move against the Danes like this. Turn up here and. Uh, Continue the attack. Get closer, get some really nice shots close up. Oh, we're about to go straight into each other here. That's not great. Oh, look at that! We cut a mast off the Danish flagship. That's going to go really well. I'm going to see if I can pass behind him and rake the bastard. And then my yeah, my admiral coming up behind trying to rake while these go at the front. This one's actually getting pushed by the bigger ship. Oh, hold your fire. I don't want you to fire on the sloop. I want you to fire on the enemy admiral instead when he comes into view there. Have you fired? There we go. Turn with the wind with the rest of the fleet. We're kind of splitting the Danish off here. I always wish boarding was actually a good option, but I mean, even with even outnumbering the enemy crew by twice the numbers, it uh, as we've seen, it doesn't actually work that well. I'm gonna try and block them here. We're gonna put this ship in front of the Admiral's flagship. And you're gonna come there and you're gonna come behind them. And we might be able to just focus so much fire on them. You know what? You'll chase those with these two. 
and you kind of hold your position here. Trying to swing around like that, and now you're coming up right behind. The cannons aren't loaded just yet, but they will. We'll, pull, we'll hold the ship right now, otherwise we'll overshoot. Wonderful raking opportunity here. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. Nice shots all around. However, the Danish ship managed to get away at this point. So we'll charge after him. Come on. Looks pretty good. I've been able to put a lot of hull shots into him. And we can see that uh, throughout hulls, my are green all around. Danish fleet, you can definitely see that the uh, the damage are starting to tell. Yellow, and a slightly less green on a lot of flanks and this. And I mean, this guy even lost one of the sails. So that's not particularly good. Now you're going way out of line there. This is shaping up to be uh, a rather impressive victory. Look at the f sails on this one. There's barely nothing left. I don't know how this middle part still is there, but... This is really working out. If we would capture any one of these so we could get them as prize money, that would be great because it would pay for the damage done to my fleet. So if we could get at least one of them to surrender. Ooh, that probably broadside into this guy. He's down quite a lot of crew, quite a lot of cannon. Ooh. Soldiers or marines getting shot to pieces here. That's what you get for... Uh, I mean, what did Denmark gain from this? Just blocking my port. They didn't really get... What did they actually gain from blocking my port as they did? Nothing, really. And this is what they get. This is what you get for uh, being such a bastard, Denmark. You thought you could take on the Dutch fleet. where well, you get what you deserve. Their admiral doesn't have long left until he uh, sinks at this point. Quite surprised that he hasn't sunk already. I'm gonna order a general halt because the enemy is now swinging around. And what we should do is uh, swing with them, but I'll hold my position and fire upon them instead of uh, moving away. Because we're, we're so close to actually sinking like the Admiral ship and so on. And I want the smaller ships could start to turn and once this one fired oh enemy admiral shot Johan Lindgren shot down 
Yeah, it's time to turn the entire fleet at this point. Great big volley fired at my own admiral ship. There's the admiral taking out my cannon shot. I'm surprised the uh, we haven't won yet. Given just the amount of fire we put down on them. And now when their admiral's dead. Should be a cakewalk. I wish I could board. I mean, we their admiral's dead. The, gun, the ship is almost destroyed. We've got so much more crew. I think, though, with the one when I tried to board last time around, the problem with that one was that... Um, the main problem with that was that, like, 10 or so of my marines and troops and the ship's captain actually jumped into the sea. He's routing. I'm going to fire at the sails at this point. If we can dismast him, we can capture him. And I bet this ship will... Uh, bring us quite the income. Oh, is this one surrendered? It's routing as well. Everyone target the sails at this point. As he's routing, we might be able to uh, force him to surrender. Oh, now he's just wavering. Thing is, I don't want to sink him because I actually want to capture this bastard. Cutting in even more to his sails. Forcing him to uh, stop right here. Block his uh, exit. We pass close enough to uh, fire canister at this range. I'm just gonna order these to uh, fire like this. Ah, oh, he's surrendered! The enemy admiral has surrendered. He's realized the game is up. This one's soon to surrender as well. You almost sh just shot the Admiral's sails out. Nice, we captured it. The keel. The Danish flagship. Now it's just a matter of time before we take the rest of the fleet. Oh, we have cut the mast on this one. The main mast is cut. Raking with canister. And there, finally, we have it. We have completely dismastered this one, more or less. And victory. The Danish fleet was surrendered. Wonderful. Here's the result of the naval battle. We were able to capture all three of the ships. And if we look at it, crews lost throughout our ships 19, 16, 11, 9, 9. Not too bad, but really, when it goes to um, try and repair our fleet, that is when we'll see the big change, I imagine. Um, as much as I would want to take on, like, their flagship. I rather need the money, which is 2,361, which is something I definitely need. So we'll sell that as prize money. 
And now when we repair, we'd see that we get we have to repair for about 700, so it's not actually that bad. Our government is pretty stable. We'll put a general in charge of the army. We're now down to 400 in um, lost revenue, which is not too bad. And I lost trade with, uh, let's see, who was it? The Mughal Empire. I'd switched it up to I'm um, trading with Sweden now instead. Um, there isn't really much in this episode more I can do, given that all of this has taken way too long time. For the next one, we'll see about actually striking directly at the heart of France. But it's going to be a very dangerous move, because I'm going to have to move more or less the entire army over there. And then march on the capital. Because anything less could lead to absolute disaster. We might leave some troops, but I mean, given the army that the Spanish have here, I mean, it's all or nothing at this point, given uh, the situation. Hopefully, though, you uh, enjoy this campaign, and hopefully, I'll uh, see you guys for the next one. Bye.